Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So behind me I have a dishwasher that was given to me by my in-laws. Unfortunately it doesn't work anymore and they allowed me to take it to scrap. So thank you for that. Not only did you allow me to have your daughter, but you're also giving me your scrappable materials. So thank you. And what I want to do today is I actually want to compare the difference in scrap price if I was to take this dishwasher in whole compared to if I was to take the time to separate the materials um, and you know sort them properly um, and find out how much each item uh, would be worth. So here we go. The first thing, um, this dishwasher is 78 pounds um, uh, when it was together. And the nice thing about scrapyards is I could bring any large appliance to the scrapyard and get um, paid by the weight. Um, so if you don't have time for it, that's one option. And I've already called the scrapyards. So appliances like uh, dishwashers, like washing machines, like dryers, you are currently getting right now in London, Ontario, $230 a ton Canadian. And because this is 78 pounds, if I was to bring it in, I would get $8.97 for the entire washer, okay? Um, but again, that is the price that I'm gonna compare the rest of it by taking it apart. Uh, the first thing by separating it, unfortunately, I'm gonna start with the negative. There is, unfortunately, 11 pounds of garbage here, okay? So all different plastics that I have. Um, from the holder and different um, containers and, and tubes. So unfortunately in my municipality We do not have the means to uh, Recycle that so that will go in the landfill. Okay, so that's unfortunate. So that's 11 pounds there uh, The next thing I'm going to look at is steel So the steel has come off of a number of items the door if I take a magnet to it the uh, front panel door is steel you have the drawers that come out of the dishwasher that uh, have a plastic coating on them, but they are uh, magnetic, they are steel underneath. And even though there is coating on that, they will take them as is. Um, I've got other panel pieces and there's always a steel frame around the dishwasher. So in total, there was 30 pounds of that steel. And the nice thing about this steel is actually, it is actually ranked higher um, to, at the scrap yards and it is actually going for $295 Canadian. And that's amazing because I've never seen it at that price uh, because of COVID prices have gone up, which is great. Um, so I think that's the only positive of COVID. Um, and because there is 30 pounds, if I was to take that in times $295 a ton, I'm looking at $4.43 just for the steel. Um, and the other thing I do want to point out is uh, going to my next category is stainless steel. And so what you do want to check is before you start taking apart the whole box is you want to run a magnet inside the box. Okay, as you can see, there is, it is not magnetic. Okay, this door panel, is not magnetic, okay? So these are actually stainless steel. If I was to put a magnet on these and they stick, then it's only a small, small coating um, to make it stainless steel and it would not be worth stainless steel price. So if the magnet does not stick, it is a nice coating um, on it that makes it non-metallic or not, sorry, non-magnetic and it will be classified as stainless steel. Currently in Canada right now, stainless steel is going for 40 cents a pound, and there is 35 pounds of it. The door, this box is actually very heavy, so 40 uh, cents for 35 pounds works out to be $14 Canadian for the box and the door. Uh, there's also a couple smaller pieces. The, the catch basin here is also stainless steel. There is a little bit on here as well that I have to take off. Um, I didn't factor this in because it doesn't weigh much. Um, but 35, or sorry, 35 pounds of stainless steel. So that's awesome. Um, and again, if this was steel inside, it would count as steel. So if it does not stick, it's stainless steel and that's awesome. 
Now, the other thing, in order to get stainless steel priced, it did come with a steel frame, and I actually had to, I'm gonna pull up to the camera here, um, take off the little, inside these little screws here would connect to the stainless steel. As you can see, they are magnetic. In order to get stainless steel priced, I did, I did have to grind those out, but now, if I run a magnet to it, there is no more um, steel, which is gonna give me uh, 40 cents. The other thing someone asked, or gonna ask, what about the coating? Um, this, I've done a couple things. I have stripped it off. Uh, I sometimes just leave it out in the winter, let it harden, and peel it off. I've actually just passed the scrapyard if I really need to take that off, and you know, they were very good. They said, actually, no, I didn't. Um, so that was awesome. I could peel a little bit off, but again, uh, it's easy for them to take that off. So you can, even with that coating, bring it in and get stainless steel price. Okay, so that's awesome. The next thing I want to look at is, oh, sorry, also with stainless steel, bringing this up to the counter, or the camera, sorry. There is also, if I take a magnet to these screws, these screws are also going to go into my stainless steel. Um, they are the screws that go around the door. They do not rush because they have a nice coating on them. Uh, but again, not much weight, but everything adds up. I put them in a little container. Okay. Also, the screws you see on here will also go into my steel pile. But I like to put screws and nails into a container so they don't fall out um, and potentially pop a tire at a scrapyard or you know go on the on the way there. So there are some screws as well. Next thing I want to look at is copper. Okay, and a dishwasher has a large motor and it will also have a smaller one. So here is two examples from a different one. And the first thing I want to do is I want to look if the wire inside the copper looking wire is uh, copper. I'm going to just scratch it with a knife and if it shows, I've already done this one for an example, as you can see right at the top there, that is a metallic color. So that means that the wires in here are actually aluminum. A lot of the newer models are starting to become aluminum, not copper. So before you take apart the motor, you do want to check that. The nice thing about this copper motor, this is copper. Okay, so I did check that. Um, the nice thing, about motors is, again, even if it's aluminum, they do have motor prices at the scrapyard. So for the sake of this video, I have done an example. Uh, I weighed the motor pretending that it was aluminum and that motor and the other one, there was six and a half pounds. Motors right now are going for 15 cents a pound. So that would have given me 98 cents a pound or for, for those motors. But as I said, because it was copper, I was able to take the copper out of the large motor and the other copper from the little motor, it gave me a pound uh, of copper. And currently this would count as number two copper. For this experiment, I'm using the price at the scrapyard of copper at hundred pounds and higher. So it's a little bit higher price than some people will get, but that's because I have a lot of copper. So at $4.20, that's how much I made just on the copper. Now, someone might ask, why would this not be considered bare bright? Why is it number two? There are a couple reasons. The first one, this coating, um, we will classify uh, wire, any type of glue or coating is gonna be number two. The other thing about this, the reason it's not bare bright, is the thickness of the wire. In order to classify as bare bright wire, the wire has to be bigger than 16 gauge. And just to put it into perspective, 16 gauge is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. So this clearly, the threads are not as big as the lead of a pencil. So this is number two. But again, I'm not going to complain because there is $4.20 of worth of copper in my hand right now. Then also, the motor also has a cover, this is cast aluminum, if I put my magnet again to it. Okay, so cast aluminum is like frying pans, you get some barbecues like that. This currently, right now, is going for 35 cents a pound. 
There is only 11 ounces here, so it works out to be about 24 cents a pound or for this. Uh, again, better than nothing. I had some brass. Okay, so this came off of a nozzle. Nice clean brass. This is yellow brass. I do have to clean off the uh, tape on here uh, as well. There are a couple little brass prongs on different things that I do cut off and put into my yellow brass. Okay, here's another one. And there is here, I have um, three ounces of yellow brass. It's currently going for $2.72 a pound. So I have their 51 cents worth of brass. Uh, I also forgot the motor. There's a small little motor here that has a little bit of copper in it. Um, I could also throw this into my motor. Uh, I think this was, um, yeah, this was factored in, gave me the 0.5 uh, pound. Um, so that, again, this, because um, there is a little bit of copper in there, I will take that out, actually. Uh, very easy to do. I'm gonna show a video on that, how to take it out of these things, because you find these on washing machines, dishwashers, um, and like I said, very easy to do. So when that comes out, go we'll check that video out. Uh, this thing, this is like your heating element. Uh, I did not factor this into uh, anything in particular. I'm just gonna throw it into my steel. Uh, there are two wires that go through there. Um, I actually sometimes hold it off the side um, and because it's a heating element, um, it could go in the same category as your oven um, elements that you have there. So I do keep this off to the side. But again, it's up to the scrapyard. If they want to throw it in their steel pile, that's fine. It adds to weight. Uh, and again, it could be diverted from the landfill. So that's great. I've got a circuit board. A circuit board here. There is a small transformer on here that has copper in it. It also has a relay box, three relay boxes. I like to call them contact boxes. Um, but yes, they are relay boxes. And inside of these, there will be a small spool of copper as well. Just like this one, these are your relay boxes. Anything that has a click sound, um, you have these. So there's your click. There is a small piece of silver, so put it up to the counter, or the camera again, I don't know why I keep saying counter. But there, on that dot there, is a small little bit of silver. I didn't factor that in, I just put that away. Um, but the copper in there as well, it's a small stool, or a school, uh, spool. It will go into my number two bin as well, um, and it adds up nicely. Uh, lastly, there is some wire that I have. This, at a scrapyard, would be classified as 60% copper recovery. Uh, there are two categories at a scrapyard for wire. You have 40% and 60, and it depends on copper to plastic ratio and copper recovery. If I bring it to the camera, as you can see, there's only one um, coating on this, so it would have more copper to plastic ratio. So this would be your 60% copper recovery. And this currently in Canada is going for $1.82 a pound. So I have here nine ounces, and that would give me a dollar and two cents. And just to grand total, add it all up with all of this stuff, it gives me a total of $25.14 uh, compared to $8.97. So for a little bit of work, uh, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to do this. Definitely increased my profit by uh, three times. Uh, so that was great. And um, was able to, you know, um, take this stuff, separate it. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of waste, okay? Just, again, a little reminder, make sure before you uh, bring your box and your door in, if the magnet sticks to it, it is counted as steel. If it doesn't, it is well worth your time to take it apart and um, put that into your stainless steel pile, okay? Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that was informative. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Thanks again uh, to my uh, in-laws. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it again. Tin Man out.